这个是导演赵青，然后我是这个片子的制片人，其实也是他的表妹。So actually, this is the director Zhao Qing, and I'm actually the producer and one of her cousins. So we're a family. And to answer that question, the film took about three years to finish from the time that we start filming till uh it's done. 就是这个影片的主人公是我们两位的叔公和叔婆。So the the main character in the film is both of our great uncle and great uncle. 啊，想问一下，呃，中间你们拍的时候有多少是安排出来，还是一直在跟拍？呃，没没有安排，一直在跟拍。其实就是说，最初的时候是因为觉得我这个叔婆患这个阿尔兹海默症已经有差不多将近十年左右的时间。那三年前我们两个人就想拍他们的故事，然后刚刚开始拍的时候，其实他们的状态还可以，但是就是。一直这样，就不知道后面会发生什么事情。呃，所以一直拍到他们进了现在这家敬老院之后，呃，差不多我们才结束的。嗯。Um, so the question is whether there are some arranged scenes in the film. The answer is no. We definitely did the artist style. Style. So we started filming about three years ago, and at the time that we didn't know what's going to happen to the couple until we follow them till when they're in the nursing home, as you see in the end of the film. 他们给你们拍的，呃，怎么说呢？哎，对，呃，可能就是你们也觉得这个叔公叔婆，呃，在这个片子当中还是比较自然，是吧？呃，因为一开始的时候，他们还是比较怎么比较老派的知识分子，所以一开始摄像机队的他们其实他们还是很就不是很自然，然后叔公也比较拘谨。呃呃，然后叔婆的状况就更更加就是不一样，因为她呃始终没有搞清楚过我是谁，啊、呃，这、就是一个。第二个就是说，她经常觉得我是拿着一个照相机在给她拍照片，所以她有的时候还会跟我说：“哎，你等一等，我先去梳梳梳妆打扮一下。”就是还会摆 pose 什么的。呃，一开始这种状况其实蛮困扰我的，但是后来就是呃呃呃。呃呃我就是经常有事没事就拿着摄像机去，所以他们慢慢就熟，就是熟悉熟悉我，叔婆也熟悉我，呃，虽然他他没搞清楚过我是谁，但是熟悉我也熟悉摄像机的存在。时间长了以后，我跟他们之间好像就是还是很很互相很信赖，而且另外有一点就是我一直很尊重他们的呃这个生活状状态，就不去呃。给他们任何的那种呃，去去去想，就是，嗯、呃，怎么说，想去改变他们，就让他们自己选择，该怎么样就怎么样。这个过程当中，他们其实，呃，还是碰到很多事情，都是按照他们自己的决定来做。So the question is that whether we, how do we persuade the couple to be on camera? And actually, when we started, it was a little bit difficult because they're old intellectuals. So it's it's a little bit uncomfortable for them to be on camera, especially for our great uncle. But for our great aunt-in-law, it's a different story because you know she's kind of confused, what doesn't know who she is. So she's trying to pose in front of the camera because she thought the camera is a still camera. So anyway, um, you know, but I was. She was trying to, you know, put the camera um, more and more so that they get comfortable around the camera. And, uh, and after that, it kind of got loose. Okay. 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 呃，叔婆是不是哪一天把叔公都忘了，不认识他了，或者是他们两个人当中有一个人先走了？呃，但是，呃，当我拍到他们进了这家敬老院，就是第一个过年之后，就在影片当中你看到的有一场景，就是叔婆那天太阳特别好，他就想把衣服再晒一晒。叔婆是个非常喜欢阳光的人，就那一刻。呃，《诗经》当中有一句话叫“情色在狱，岁月静好”。就那一刻，我感觉特别美好，所以我就觉得这个影片的结尾应该是一个美好的结尾。我就这样决定结束了。So the question is that how do we decide that we gonna end the film like that? Um, uh, we we thought. 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So a uh, lot of people give us suggestions at the beginning that we kind of thought maybe we'll follow them till one of them died, perhaps, uh, or maybe some other endings like when she kind of forgets who he is. Um, but uh, when there was a scene that you guys saw that there, were, uh, you know, she was kind of trying to dry clothes in the sunshine. She's the person who really likes sunshine, so that was kind of the moment that director kind of felt like this kind of is like a beautiful moment and he she thought that you know the film should be ended should end uh in that kind of you know kind of um, tone so that's how we kind of decide that you know gonna end like that instead of you know really have a, a sad ending so we want to have like uplifting and celebrating kind of tone to the film Shanghai mentality that uh, the seniors hesitate about going to the senior home. To yeah, the general yeah. phenomenon. Yes, should I say that? So the question is, is it that people will be hesitant? 就是不太愿意去敬老院。作为中国的老人来说，嗯、uh, ，the the answer is yes. Um, a lot of um, the seniors in China they hesitate to go to the senior home because you know it's kind of like uh, a shame of going to the senior home. Uh, it's kind of like claiming that there's nobody else to take care of them. Their children are not taking care of them. But as a fact, it is true that. You know, there are so many left behind children, uh, left behind elderly in in China, that they don't have children to live next to them. Or even if they do, their children are so busy with life. I'm sure it's universal. It's here too. So um, yes. So for them to really decide to go to the nursing home, especially the second one, um, it took them a lot of efforts and courage. And that's why you know partially that's why they kind of left the first nursing home because they weren't that mentally fully prepared. So, at, you know, they finally they they felt like there's no other choice. So, in the second nursing home, they kind of settled down. Um, I noticed there were a couple of moments when uh, when the lady would turn to the person behind the camera and uh, ask a question, but there would be no response. Is that because it's difficult to respond to someone with her illness, or is that due to the way that it was being filmed? Well, uh, it is. It's a really good question. We actually, um, if you see the beginning of the film, she actually answered some of the questions where she asked, you know, where did he go? And she answered, he went to the hospital to get IV shots. Uh, but there are moments that she's trying to stay just as, you know, uh, silent as the camera. So just to show, you know, what her reaction is. But actually, you know, they throughout filming, the director, my cousin, really built a trust relationship between them that she kind of be becomes their daughter. So it's just on camera, sometimes she doesn't answer, but really, if there's anything, she's the person they call and then discuss. Actually,很多时候我也是回答她的，只是就是说回答完了以后，她就忘了。当然，这个就你看到的影片还是跟剪辑有关系，就很多我的回答其实是剪掉了。and there are a lot of times that she didn't answer, but it's just edited out. Yeah. 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 呃，内容的，你没有遇到过这个这个这些情况，你们怎么处理？嗯、呃，是这样，我觉得，因为，呃，主要还是他们两个人的故事，可能这个里面碰到一个最大的问题是，我陪他们，呃，去看了很多养老院，因为这个他们本身也需要找一家养老院，这个呃，涉及到一些，嗯、呃，就是怎么说，比如说他们那个医院，医院也有那个就是阿尔兹海默症病人的那种护理医院。其实他的护理情况并不是很好，呃，这种地方也也不太会让我拍摄。那我觉得就是呃，对国内来说，尤其是老年痴呆就阿尔兹海默症的这种护理条件、护理培训，其实都亟待提高。这个可能是现在政府嗯非常需要重视的一个问题。So the question is that if there's anything in the film that's kind of sensitive that the government doesn't want us or really want us to film. Um, the answer is that mostly we kind of just focus on the couple, so we didn't have that many issues. But throughout filming, my cousin uh, followed them to many uh, nursing homes, and there was including one which we mentioned in the film, but we didn't film. 
it's the mental hospital um, because you know the condition in the mental hospital is not really ideal so they didn't want us to film so that actually uh, kind of raised awareness that in China we really need more public awareness to to kind of improve the uh, facility of these nursing uh, homes and also improve the caretaking of the Alzheimer patients um, yeah so that's, that's that part of the story so yeah, many many uh, nursing facilities actually don't uh, admit Alzheimer patients. So a lot of them, most of them actually stay at home, um, trapped at home. Um, yeah, so we, for them, it's very lucky that they find a nursing home that can take both of them. But a lot of the people in China cannot. 谢谢啊谢谢两位谢谢谢谢